service on a Sunday. We are so excited to have you with us today and I hope that on this Mother's Day you jumped on your mom's bed and gave her a big hug and spoiled her loads and loads. I also want you to do something for me. We all love jokes and I've got one for you that I'd like you to tell your mom. What do you get when you pamper a cow? Spoiled milk. <laughs> oh, I don't know about you but I find that hilarious. Um, anyway, we're going to go into a, a little worship song now, and I'd love for you to join us. And in the words of Bonnie, here we go. Ho ho ho, kids, sing along. I love you, you love me. Wait. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's much cooler than that. Cheers and enjoy. <laughs>
touching the floor. Whoa! Okay, and then when I count to three, we're gonna jump up all together as high as you can. You guys ready? One, two, three. to Kids Zone this morning and happy Mother's Day to every mom watching. I hope that you've been spoiled this morning and you were celebrated 
We love you and we think you are so awesome holding it down in lockdown with the kids and cooking and everything that you need to be responsible for. So we just champion you this morning and we just say happy, happy Mother's Day from our kids team. So this morning's lesson is on kindness. And we know that kindness is a fruit of the Spirit. But in Ephesians 4 verse 32, it says this, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave us. So to be kind means to care about other people, and to be compassionate means that we do something about that. So in doing something, um, you know, about that means it can look like hugging someone, it can look like sharing some food with someone or toys if you have sisters and brothers. It can look like writing a letter to someone who might be sad. Um, and I have a few props to help me with today's lesson. So I have my little dog, teddy bear dog here. And as you can see, it's very floppy and it's soft and it's cuddly. And then I have some cotton wool, you know, and I know all moms should have cotton wool somewhere in their house and it's soft and it's very soft if you, if you put it on against your skin. And then I also have this. Oh goodness, it's so heavy. I have this ugly, dirty brick and it's heavy and it's hard. And I was thinking, when I was looking at my props, which one of these, you know, the cotton wool that's soft and, and nice against your skin, and it's hard, ugly brick, which one of these would hurt if someone had to throw it at you? What do you think? Do you think a cotton wool would hurt? Or do you think a brick would hurt? And you know, just like our words and our actions, what we say to people, what we say to our parents, what we say to our friends, or even our sisters and our brothers, who sometimes they can irritate us. I know that. You know, what we say to them, what we do to them, um, or with them, that can, that can really hurt us, or it can really make us feel so loved and cared for and um, you know the Bible tells us to be kind so I want to look at some ways in how we can be kind to one another in this time and also another thing is I know that God doesn't want us to throw hurtful um, hard things at one another in what we speak and in what we do so I think to be kind is to be soft, it's to be gentle, it's to be tender-hearted. Tender-hearted is like having compassion. You know, when you see someone crying or when you see them really hurt and lonely, you can reach out to them, write them a letter, hold their hand, give them a hug. Those are some soft things that we can do um, what are some soft things that you think you can do, you know, in this time as you're staying at home with your family, um, helping mom clean maybe? When, hey, if you have a mop, you can help her clean the floors or help her by making your bed. You could um, give dad a hug. You know, sometimes you don't need a reason. You can just run up to mom or run up to dad and hug them so tight and tell them that you love them. And another soft thing, a kind thing that you can do if you have animals is to help feed your animals, you know. So then that means you're also helping mom and dad by looking after your animals. Take them out for a walk in the mornings. Um... So I think those are some great soft, soft and kind actions that you can do with 
with and for your family in this lockdown time. And some other soft and kind things we can say is please and thank you and I love you. So if you haven't told mom yet today, I love you. After this um, service, you can turn to her and give her a big hug and say, I love you, mom, because it's Mother's Day and also because she is just a superwoman. She's your superhero. So that's the lesson for today. And I hope that it blessed you. And I want to challenge you this week to think of five kind things that you can do to help your family, you know, while you're living at home and having school at home. We love you and we miss you and we pray for you. And we just are so thankful that you're still watching our kids services every Sunday. And yeah, enjoy your Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Finger hearty, Ibo. That's the Sudanese way of saying Happy Mother's Day. I love my mom because she's very special and kind to me. I love my mom because she gives me a good education. I love mom because she's the best mommy and she cooks the best food. Even if it's healthy, she's still the best and, and she reads the best story and the best voice. I love mom because she plays stuff for me. My mother is so important to me because she takes care of me. She she needs me. She she helps me in my schoolwork. And I wish my mother many, many more Mother's Days. Thank you. I'm Zoe and I'm from Emmanuel's Kids Church. I just want to wish my mother a very happy Mother's Day. Mom, this is for you. Don't you wish your mother was fun like mine? Don't you wish your mother was funny like mine? Don't you? Have you ever spelled mom upside down? It spells wow! That's because moms are super amazing. The reason why my mom is the best? She's my mom, my dad, and my best friend. She loves me a lot and takes care of me. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy! Happy Mother's Day to all moms, especially our mom. We love you. Say happy Mama's Day. Yay. Happy Mama's Day. Yay. Happy Mama's Day. I love my mom because she gave birth to me. Classic. <laughs>